Welcome to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End for the PS4, the final game in the Uncharted series that has Nathan Drake as a main character. So, um, you ready, Deji? You, look at those graphics. you ready to roll, Deji? Yeah. Because we've got a... Well, okay, if this were heavy rain, we'd be gasping in shock at how awkward this will look, but here it actually looks good. Oh, no. And hi, yeah, this Laura is... Bailey. Yeah. Um... Yes. Basically, when it comes to Uncharted 4, this is what David Cage always says his games were going to look like, even though they never actually do. Hey, Pedro, 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 Pedro. Okay, 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 okay. Detroit looks like a masterpiece. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The mysterious Mr. Inter may be on and off of how much I agree with him, but I do have to agree with a theory he made about Quantic Dreams. The only reason they're in the game industry is because they would be laughed off of the film industry. Exactly. <laughs> and so, um... And, oh, and, and, and well, yes, guys, as you, you can, can tell, clearly see that this is a thief's end because there's a pirate who was killed. He's met his end. And yes, as you can tell by the intro of this uh, playthrough, I'm the one playing this game. Well, Dwibs, don't yeah. leave us hanging like the poor guy over there. So, it's... again, once again, prepare for loads of faffing around and being bad at puzzles. But Dwibs, you're playing on Explorer mode, the easiest mode. What could possibly go wrong? For the sake of clarity uh, for Deji and Shiroi, this game takes place two years after the third game. I know. I've seen the whole story. You didn't spoil ah, okay yourself, then. did you? I know everything that happens. Everything that happens. You there, by the way, Shiroi? Yes. Okay. Just checking you know, the last, what happened the last time. Don't, don't, don't mention no. it. <laughs> yeah, don't jinx it. Please. Thank you. All right. Um... Uh, written by Neil, uh, co-written by Neil Druckmann and direct, co-directed by him as well, Bruce Australia, of you course, know, once I again, returning as game director. Now, here's a fun fact, actually. This game technically had the most troubled development out of any Uncharted game because the original dev eh, lead... I don't know, okay, Joe, okay, but okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I'm hold on. probably still busy. I, I say technically because this was one of those cases where the leader of development kind of had to jump ship in the middle of the project. Yeah. Hey. So when so when Neil Druckmann was brought on board, they they and, and also Bruce Straley, they decided to scrap the plot they'd written up to that point, and um, and they wrote a new plot from scratch. Druckmann and uh, Josh Sher, who wrote the other game, well, the first and second game at least. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. oh, and uh, also for another reoccurring thing during this commentary. Pedro gushing about the graphics. Well, to be fair, dudes, this is one of the rare, and I mean rare, PS4 games that actually has the graphics and then some that it advertised. See, Look at PS4, these models. See, here's the thing. A lot of PS4 games are notorious for showing this awesome looking graphics at E3 and trailers and whatnot, but when the actual game comes out, they don't look nearly as good as they were presented. And, uh, and, and yes, once play. again, we have... And yeah. once again... I don't know, it's mostly just watchdogs. I don't I mean or as it looks beautiful and um... And uh, once again we have Nathan Drake Nathan yeah, Nathan Drake voiced by Nolan North and a new character who we'll learn more about later in this playthrough, voiced by Troy Baker. We already know who he is since they advertise the hell out of him. But yeah. okay, let's be well, fair. Well I avo I avoided it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be fair to the people who avoided it. I mean it. So basically, um we're learning how to control boats because one key thing about this game is that you can control vehicles well Much didn't like... you control vehicles in past games we can more uh, of them yeah but in here there's much more vehicle action yes because mm. they wanted to make an uncharted racing game but they fought no one uh, uncarted i wouldn't yeah. be surprised hey uh dwibs uh, yep. uh, didn't you say that this recording is your first time playing this game uh, no, 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 no. second no, time no, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So I'm really the only one who's completely oblivious to everything. Mm -hmm. okay. It's okay, Shiroi. I promise that these guys won't spoil or they will suffer the consequences. No. So yeah, Shiroi, you're probably wondering, how the hell did Nate get into this mess? Yep, that's uh, me. I think, uh, how I, got I think he's just being Nate. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I will say he's though, pretty, he's, he's pretty stubborn, honestly. I will say though, I'll admit, stuff like this starting the story in the middle of the action doesn't always do it for me. Not saying that like I, that's I, a detriment. No, here, I, I just I love really it. For attention, <laughs> but at the same time, it's just feels it's a, it's it's for the sake of uh, immediately making the audience start to wonder exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. 
The reason it works here is... Except, um, except in Unleash, that didn't turn out very well. <laughs> Wait, Unleash? When did, how did Unleash do that? You see, she's talking about how it sort of dropped you right into the action at the start of it. And, but that was literally the beginning of the story. In here, we're oh, literally starting to... No, 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 actually, they, actually, this particular scene is like two-thirds into the game. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and uh, another another reason why oh, yeah. I specifically wanted to do this game, not, not just because I seem to be the one doing the even-numbered Uncharted games, is that I wanted to do one where the where 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 members of the main cast are voiced by Troy Baker and uh, Laura Bailey. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't know. I because know, uh, of course, those two are in another game together. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, well, not, well, they they don't form a romantic pair. So I. For uh, once. They're in a but anyway, but anyway, anyway, I gotta say, dudes, uh, you're surprisingly doing a not too bad job. Actually, it's a tutorial, well, remember, Jova? Not just well, that, but here's the thing, Dwibs, uh, well, Dwibs, no offense, you tend to screw up even tutorials. Let's be fair. Not just that, but Neil and Bruce decided to add to this game an auto aim system, an auto -aim which is nice. System. That is nice. They, they saw they 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 someone showed them Dwibs' <laughs> um, future playthroughs. Like, okay, let's just add this. Yep. One of the developers went. Guys, to the he's not crashing. Yeah, Bandicoot. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I will say yeah, though, that so the reason... they, they, they they foresaw what if a what if what if a twenty three year old guy from Stoke play is crap at our games? What do we do then? Woo! Well, crap. Holy shit! And they died. <laughs> da, 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 da. Don't worry, guys. It turns Thank out you that for playing that... the Last of Us Two demo. Don't worry, guys. It turns out... All right. Don't worry, Daniel guys. It turns back. out that that scene was all just a dream that his younger self had foretelling of what adventures you would have. I'm actually curious now, Jova. So what did you think of the way 15 did it, with starting immediately right at one of the very last parts of the game? Uh, I'm going to be quite honest. Okay, okay, okay. Look, it works better here because, well, this one didn't really spoil too much ending stuff. With 15, I'm going to be honest, that kind of annoyed me. Because, like, seriously, so, yeah, just where um... you are end game, that kind of stuff bugs me. I mean, even if the so when um. But here, though, it's done better. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, middle. okay, okay, we get it. So yeah, uh, Nate Nate spent most of his childhood in this shitty orphanage where the nuns seemed to love to blame Nate for everything. Well, remember, Dwiz, we, squad. Yeah, as we established in Uncharted Three, Nate spent most a lot of his childhood. This was even before he met Sully. Yeah, the fact that meeting Sully was actually the thing that made his life better is uh, yeah quite telling. I mean, don't get me wrong, just, Sully's a cool guy just, and all, but. <laughs> No, that's a sad part, Job. As we're going to learn in this game, uh, uh, meeting Sully was actually a step up. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, to quote Marlo, oh, it's also the Kenzian. Shakaroo, guys. <laughs> Nate has a brother. So, yeah, um, things could be better. Uncharted 4, with guest star Charles Dickens' ghost. Makes sense. <laughs> But, uh, oh, young Nate sees something. His brother. Yep. You know, it's just a shame that Nate's name wasn't Dean. Then this would be a perfect allegory for the Supernatural show. <coughs> All right, so... Oh, show, Chapter, Chapter one. one. No. Uh, adventure. Lure of Adventure. That's right. In this particular game, the, the, the chapter names are handwritten. Makes sense. I mean, um, oh yeah, and uh, another change that happened in this game. Uh, oh. um, sad, well, sadly, well, sadly to me at least, uh, Greg Edmondson is no longer doing the music. Eric Jackman, film composer for movies like uh, Wreck It Ralph, Winnie the Pooh 2011, X Men First Class, X Men First Class, um, and, Captain and all, Cap Cap Captain America um, Winter Soldier, yeah, Winter Captain America Civil, Civil War. War. Um and Puss in Boots that th that's his best score if you ask me. Oh, I love that. Oh, look, it's it's one of the few good DreamWorks movies. Oh, I love that movie. Anyway, movie it doesn't need a sequel. Needed? Just saying. All right, and now guys, time for some Metal Gear style stuff. Okay, oh, let's see shit. how this does here. Okay, um, I I have to confess something. I edited it out, but I screwed up this section. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up. On I'm not surprised. So the priest no, is the main you, reason. You, when you get caught, you at least play some Metal Gear Solid music. No, no, no. I edited it out the bit where I got caught. Good night, Father. Good night, Sister. 
Well, the, uh, uh, unlike Ubisoft, when, it, when you see an, an early Naughty Dog teaser, Jova, you can be sure that the game will look as good as it does in that original Wait teaser. Wait a minute. Her name, her name is Catherine. None who puts down the boy. Oh, Nate. You're actually Peter Pan. <laughs> Peter. But, 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 Jova, I don't see the Virgin Mary anywhere. Rem remember, Jova, uh, Peter Pan, in, 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 the actual pronunciation is apparently Peter. Peter. Ah. Pita, I don't. Jesus Christ. Uh, that movie was such a delight, and I can't wait for when we get to do a fur generations on it. Uh, Dwebs, uh, anytime now. Oh, that's right. Wait. Dwebs is the one playing this. I just need to wait to see if she does anything else before I make my move. Huh? That's surprisingly patient of you. Yeah, I, I don't get this. You told me to be more patient. You know, well, I am patient. You oh, still I... go, Dwebs, come on. There, 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 no, wait, no, wait, no, well, wait, no, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, wait, I'm a-okay with it. You're doing rather fine so far. Well, I recently uh, realized that I'm more stealthy with games than I think I am. Oh. Alice, on the other hand, is not. So... Oh, really? Which game, which game in specific? Okay, we were playing. We were playing 3D Land, no 3D World. Sorry, I should say. And in one of the levels where you have to avoid the searchlights, otherwise you get bombarded with a ton of shit. Yeah. I was hiding behind the blocks that are specifically there for you to hide behind. Alice was like, "Nope," and she's sprinting through everything. <laughs> well, that's and, so. And, yeah, but doing that destroys all the hiding places. <laughs> Yeah. So... And when I'm telling her to slow down and actually play the game like it's meant to be played, her response is, "Gotta go fast." <laughs> well, you could you could just grab her. <laughs> so now, no, 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 I eventually just bubbled myself, and I was like, "Fine, you do it." <laughs> so now, so hey, um, say there's, there's there's a similarity that I don't have in common with you now, instead I have one in common with Alice. <laughs> So what, is she my Scottish counterpart? Sure, Maybe. why oh, not? <laughs> it turns out that uh, you, Alice, and Shirai are all linked by a special bond. Oh god, it's Kingdom Hearts. We're, um, but... we're, the, tri we're the Triforce heroes? No, no. Yeah, no. Yes, no. yes, so yes, basically... yes, you are the Triforce heroes. All right, so, so yeah, uh... Na Naughty Dog has always been the, the developer that actually basically shows off what the pl each PlayStation console can do, and when Shard 4 is no exception, because Shard 4 is basically a demonstration of how powerful the PlayStation 4 is. <laughs> now, there's because uh, Nate will have to yeah. get used to yeah. falling down on what he's climbing yeah. on. Yeah, Visual the effects, PS... character yeah, models, PS... like, everything looks so good in this game. The, the PS4 is the world's most powerful rubber. <laughs> oh, man, just wait. And until... here's I Sam... And here's Sam, Nate, Nate's brother. Yeah, not wow. voiced by Troy Baker in this bit for obvious reasons. He's voiced by some guy. Pedro, who is he voiced by? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Good <laughs> <laughs> job, Pedro. Did you just who's, kill um, someone, Pedro? <laughs> Who, who's dying? <laughs> Pedro, who did you kill this time? Uh, that's that's up. That, that's not your business. Oh, anyway, okay. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> All right, so uh, Sam's got a surprise for us. Remember, you can never have enough mm -hmm. sulfuric acid. So yeah, Sam has something that he wants to show Nate. Basically, Sa uh, you're probably wondering, uh, why is uh, his brother free while Nate is in the orphanage? Uh, they're going to explain that later on. You know, I found something interesting about Neil Duckman a few days ago. What? Oh. Uh, you guys are familiar with Conker's Bedford and uh, yeah. advertisements yes. that they did. Oh, not uh, the advertisement, no. Yeah, so? Uh, Nintendo went to various colleges to have them play the games multiplayer. Oh, and, and Druckmann was, was one, of the ones that, the, one of the ones who played, I'm guessing. Yeah. And oh, he actually won. <laughs> that's that's wow, cool. Wow, that is cool. so fitting. So that's where he learned his dark humor from. <laughs> and we... So yeah, as you can see, she, right, Nate was already uh, getting practice for his um, later years back as a kid. <laughs> oh, and uh, the best, one of the better, one of the best things about this game because it's on the PS4. There's no slightly distracting black. I did. 
The cutscenes are all rendered in real time, and the game seamlessly transitions from gameplay to cutscene without a single cut to black. Just following me. Hmm. You take the high road to the... You know, what song is that? You take uh, the high road, not take the road. Oh boy, here we go. Basically, Shiroi, in this game, there's going. Uh, uh, Neil and Bruce decide to introduce a new mechanic. Um, the rope, which is which is basically one of the most fun mechanics ever in an Uncharted game. Especially, let's just say you can basically can swing off a rope while shooting people. To give you an idea, man, it's, how, how weird is it that Nathan has been doing this since he was 12 years old, and none of the free games prior to this have never done. He's never had a situation where that was required. Um, he forgot. I'm pretty sure he has had to use a lot of acrobatics here and there. I'm talking about the rope. He, mean, he means the rope. Uh, mm. do, 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 because do, because do, the designers do, haven't thought of it yet. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I know. Not it's just one of those. It. He didn't things. want to be the Indiana Jones. He did not want to be called a ripoff, and that's why he never oh, and, used um... the rope. There you go. Oh yeah, and if there was, if there's one thing that I'm glad hasn't been lost during that big gap of no Naughty Dog Uncharted games, is that the dialogue is still as snappy as ever. Oh, no, yeah, of course. Neil Druckmann uh, knows how and to Josh, make witty dialogue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Neil and Josh know how to create witty dialogue, as they've oh proven in the, in the past for oh Uncharted my... 1 and 2. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just reminded me, Dwibs. Um, big gap between main series games, a new developer leader. This is like when we transitioned from Ace Attorney 4 to Ace Attorney 5. Basically, Dante for Context, Ace Attorney 4 came out in 2008. Ace Attorney 5 came out in 2013. Yeah. Yeah. That's because Shu Takumi was busy with the crossover. He kind of had left the main series afterwards because a certain Mr. Inafune, who was the main producer of Ace Attorney at the time, had kind of been the one who had asked him to make Ace Attorney 4 when he, uh, didn't dun, want to. Dun, 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 Why dun, is it right. that Inafune has to be the center of all this? So, I go down, oh. so he's saying say he's going down there nice and easy, and yeah, I'm just rushing down there. Also, yeah, ha ha ha, Sid did the thing on the cross. Uh, uh, okay, time to swing on the rope. And tally. Just get a running start. Ho! Wow. Alright, just gotta wait for Sammy Boy. Uh, uh any time. I really like this sound that thing, by the way. I, mean, I don't think the soundtrack's bad. I just prefer. Uh, no, I understand. No, I understand. I understand. Even though I really, really like this one. In fact, there's going to be a particular one that take, that that plays during a specific car drive that I love. That's beautiful as fuck. But uh, my favorite Uncharted Four soundtrack is still free. So I'll. So you can at least. Have mm. that. But hey, um, at least uh, Henry Chapman does do a good remix of the Uncharted theme as well oh, here yeah. during the uh, opening credits. It, well, well. well and I'm sure I'm, the thing is, considering the new direction and storyline, it kind of made sense for this for the tone of the soundtrack to change as well, which uh, you know the more melancholic uh, tone. I, but it fits. Uh, the, the Greg's style wouldn't really fit with the tone that Neil and Josh are going for here. Yeah, I'll, not not to mention at the time at the time this game was was being hyped up for its release, I was honestly a little bit nervous about Henry Chapman being involved, considering his considering a couple of his scores up to that point weren't exactly. Yeah, at the time, Harry Jackman was kind of going for a bit of a bad moment in his career, but fortunately, he bounced back. Yeah. I really have to put you to watch Puss in Boots, Twibs. I really yeah. have to make you watch that. I mean, I mean, around the time, if, around the time he was announced to be the composer, Winter Soldier came out. Ugh, yeah, yeah, I love Harry Jackman, but even I will say that that was Winter not good. Winter Soldier had so many problems. I mean, seriously, which is that's... a shame because Winter, no, no, Winter, Winter Soldier, oh, oh, okay, the movie okay, was okay, awesome. Okay, it's okay, just okay, that the okay, score okay. was let bad. Me let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. I actually had that mixed up a bit. Winter Soldier was such a great movie until stuff like that stupid cliche ending. Oh God. Where a certain characteristic. Uh, that's the Marvel problem. Well, the thing is, like, well, they were I doing don't... so good up until that point. Uh, basically, Pedro, it's the whole cliche, I have to fake my death thing. In addition to the whole, oh, he's gone missing, we're going to find him. Oh, wait, no, it turns out he was A-OK -okay at the time well, of got... certain movies credits. It's like, yeah, uh... let's just say, um, okay, 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 look. I like almost everything about Witcher Soldier except for its soundtrack, which is really a step down from the first movie. And yeah. also the cliche ending, and also the way the that the uh, 
And also the way that the whole final fight with him was kind of resolved. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get Captain America is nice. Hold on, cutscene. Cutscene, guys. That nice. Well, okay, maybe he's that nice. Okay, cutscene. Okay, we've escaped from the orphanage, which, if you believe Nate, sounds like even worse than prison. <laughs> 500 CC. Oh man, Mario Kart's gonna be so broken. What of this? Hard earned day. Oh, hold on. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. Why does young Nathan look different here than he did in Uncharted 3? He was younger in, in this part. Uh, I think this is like probably four years before the Uncharted 3 flashbacks. How, how old is he here? Uh, 12, I think. I'll have to look it up. Uh, one acrobatic 12 year old. Oh, you'd be surprised, uh, Deji. They're out there. Yeah, there's one up there. Oh, there you go. There you go. He's, he's shooting out webs. Huh. The Joker Spider Man. Take me with you. You're a bit young, Nate. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. It's the best thing for you right now. All right? Just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. How convenient that Nathan never mentioned his brother up until this point. <laughs> well, let's just say there's a very good reason. Yeah. Everything that Dad sold to track down a buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better, I swear to God. You know, actually, I'm starting to wonder if this is going to really give me those Puss in Boots flashback vibes that I'm getting. Meaning? There was a there was a similar there was a similar backstory with two characters in Puss and Boots. Uh, oh, <laughs> hey, that was called Raheem Jackman, as he just said. Mm -hmm. I, I thought you meant like. I really have to put some... you to watch that movie clips at some point. I, I thought you meant like adding some lore. And, uh, and now we transition to prison. Yeah. So there you go. As a camp so there you go. Um, even but this was even before Uncharted One. And Nate was already getting in trouble. Wait, Gustavo? Wow, he went from composing The Last of Us to being in prison. That's um, quite sad. Yeah, he's not doing very well. All right, everybody. In the yeah, next don't, part... don't 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 worry. He'll be uh, he'll be released so he can do one shot, so he can do The Last of Us Part Two. Anyway, in the <laughs> next part, we will get our tutorial on punching things. Yay! Ooh, fun. All right, see, see you, everybody. Ya.